Well, if you leave your car parked in the city of Richmond, new restrictions are on the way that you need to know about. Starting next weekend, some time limits will now be enforced on Saturdays in some areas. Our Tyler Lane talked to Richmonders today who are responding differently to this. He's live now to break down exactly what's changing and why. Tyler. Well, Leland, after you park your car, you're going to want to pay close attention to these signs, which indicate time limits that will soon be enforced on Saturdays. The city says this is going to help business owners, but some residents in the area tell me they view this as an inconvenience. At first, I was speechless. Shawanda Robinson at a loss after learning the city of Richmond will now enforce parking restrictions on Saturdays. I'm shocked, honestly. I just think it's kind of it's kind of scandalous of them, you know, it's, it's and it's and it's kind of mean. You'll have a time limit marked by signs, and after that, you've got to move your car or face a $25 fine. Like, girl, I don't feel like them policing us while we're, like, you know, policing our time. What if we want to go up the street, you know, right to the next bar? We can't even bar hop. We got to drive everywhere. The new rule will only be enforced in some parts of the city to include much of Jackson Ward, where Robinson lives. It's just going to make it harder. And it takes effect October 15th, with the city giving folks about a week's notice. That's quick. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's quick. Yeah, I didn't know that. It's too short of a notice. Daniel Davis says he frequently comes to visit his brother in Richmond from out of town, and now he questions where he'll leave his car for the weekend. It might detract him from coming downtown, to be honest. You know, if they're already having a hard time to park, you know, paying for additional parking on a weekend might make them go somewhere else. Hot dog combo, hot dog combo. Ray Taylor, owner of Ray's Dog House in Jackson Ward, says he notices his customers struggle to find parking. Sometimes they just figure out a way to work it out, but they do have a problem. And on Saturdays, he says it can be even more difficult when events are going on at the nearby convention center. It's really gets uh, re really rough because the parking lot gets full, so then they have to go to the street. The city says that time limits will help business owners like Taylor by encouraging turnover and reducing long term parkers occupying street spaces. If the access was better, that would be good. Now, starting October 15th, there will be a two week grace period where parking attendants will issue warnings. And then after that, you could get ticketed. Coming up all new at six, Taylor's message to those who may not really like this change. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.